In this video, I will show you how to connect your Namecheap domain to Go High Level. So what you want to do first is of course buy a domain on Namecheap. And once you have the domain, just gonna sign into your Namecheap account, go to your domain list and gonna click on manage on the domain that you want to use for this. Then once you're in the domain, you want to go to advanced DNS right there. And now you can just go and copy the URL right here for your domain. Now open up Go High Level and go to settings. And then here in the left menu, scroll down until you see domains and click domains. Then click connect a domain. Then choose the one at the top right here if you want to use it for your funnel or website. And go to click connect. And then here just paste in the domain. Then click continue. Now here click continue again. Then it will be setting up your domain. So for this, it needs to find the provider details. Now, if it doesn't do this and it doesn't quite work automatically, that's still fine because you can just go and enter the DNS records yourself. So you can see you need to set up your domain manually. So you have these records right here. So you have an A record and a C name. Now for now, what I would recommend doing is at the C name, just going to copy the sites.ludicro for you. It may be different, but just copy this first. And remember under host what it says for you from its www. So now go back to the advanced DNS right here. I can see we already have a CNAME record with host www. Now for the value, you can just click on it, then remove what it says now and paste in what you got from Go High Level. And then click on the check right there that saves the changes. And now we want to do the same for a new record. So click add new record and now create an A record since that's the one you have on Go High Level. And for the host, you can see it's one of these icons. And then for the value, just going to copy what it says for you. So first now type in that under host and then value, paste in the IP address. And then from there again, click save changes. And now that you have done the C name and A record, you can now click verify records. And the DNS updates could require up to 30 seconds. So if changes aren't acknowledged, please retry. So it may not work the first time. So you can see in this case, it says there was a problem with that action since it can take some time to update. Now, if you get this same message, you want to click troubleshoot this issue or watch the help video. And here you can also see that it can take up to 48 hours right here for it to fully match the records. So you need to wait a few minutes for propagation, but it can take up to 48 hours. Usually it won't, but in this case, it does seem to take longer. But overall, once you have done this, usually you just need to wait and then it will work. Now there are some other things right here that could be causing it if it doesn't work for you, such as the domain being connected elsewhere. So just make sure that the domain is only connected to your Go High Level website. Now I've actually waited for a few minutes now and now it did connect. So now you can see congratulations, you can now connect Danistutorials.online with a product. So now here you can just select website, store, whatever you want to do. And then if you have a website, you can go and connect it right here. Same with funnel, store, blog, webinar, etc. And you do also have some additional options. But if I go back to domains, you can now see that it is connected to Go High Level. So now you know how to connect your Namecheap domain to Go High Level. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.